Hi guys, happy 4th of July and happy hashtag Wealth Wednesday. And uh, I'm going to wait for my special guest to pop on. And, and again, you guys have heard me talk about my LinkedIn training and what I do to obviously how I grow my business and how I now assist others in growing their businesses too. Uh, but enough about my success and what it's done for me and how it's helped people. I want to assist others with obviously how to use it, but also I want you to hear from those that are actually learning from me. So hi D, hi Betsy, hi Nancy, hi Monica. Say hi and where you're coming in from. Hi Kim, great to see everybody popping on here. Happy 4th of July. Hi Nika. So it's really great to see everybody on here. I'm going to wait for my special guest, Zyla, to pop on. And again, what's up, Bree? Good to see you on here. D from Baltimore, that is right. Hi, Zyla. Let me just make sure that you're on your phone. So it's not allowing me to invite again. So... Uh, Just make sure you're on your phone, Zyla. Happy 4th to you, Kim. Uh, It is hot in Philly. It's almost uh, 100 degrees here with the humidity. What's up, Chrissy? Another person from Baltimore representing. Love seeing that. And I'm going to add in now. So let's cross our fingers and hope that... Technology works for us, not against us, but it is what it is. We adapt and change. So, yeah, it's hot. What's up, Brian? Good to see everybody on here. So, again, I wanted to to invite people on today, but I always – I love inviting my clients on. And we made it work. (laughs) We made it work. So, um, hi, Zyla. Good to see you. Happy 4th of July. Thanks. So I'm there. Can you see my right we are, we are, We are good. We are good. So, um, they required my husband. So, so I, uh, I really encourage anyone that's on here, share this on your personal page. Um, share this on a team page because I don't want you guys to hear it from me. I want you to hear it from those um, that are experiencing, you know, obviously growth in their businesses and, you know, what they are achieving. And, you know, I only – I just – finished working with Zyla actually this week and she's actually one of the most outstanding people that I've had the opportunity to work with. Um, She actually got the quickest results out of anyone that I've ever worked with. Um, Within about seven to ten days people get results from me meaning they have more connections and they have conversations. Zyla took that to a whole other level. Um, Zyla actually had 20 calls set up her first week of working with me and also more more than that i'm gonna let her tell it but let me let me tell you a little bit about xyla first so you can see this is another multipreneur um xyla graduated from indiana university she's a hoosier at heart uh got her mba from loyola loyola university from chicago if anybody was following the nca tournament they made an amazing run this past year Um, she was a music teacher for years and then a brand manager, but combined music and teaching and business. She opened her own studio teaching mommy and me classes, business owner for 10 years, opened her own child enrichment center and preschools in Chicago and Tel Aviv represent the tribe. Uh, when her first child was born, she had to take several steps back working from, uh, working too crazy, uh, long hours. And today, she's a wife and mom of three young children and loving network marketing. This is her first dive in. She's only been in it for about four months. I'll let her, t- uh, I'll let her tell her story. So thank you so much for everyone that is popping on. So please, again, please like and love this. Say hi to Zyla. Say hi to me, where you're coming in from. I know it's July 4th, so we do appreciate you guys taking your time. So, so Zyla, let's first start this way. Um, obviously, you and I connected through a a business call that we were on. I was doing basically a a little mini training on LinkedIn and something that I said or was talking about clicked with you. So let's, let's go back. You know, I I told people a little bit about your background and obviously you love the products that, that we both consume. 
What was it about this business model? Because you are just like me. You, you are a traditional business owner. I had gyms. I was a personal trainer. Obviously, you do yoga and all those other things. What was it about the business model of network marketing? And then the second question, what was it about what you heard on my call that, that really just lit a spark for you that you had to do something else? Right. Okay. So for me, network marketing um, is, is giving me a, a chance to still get to be a business owner, which is probably what I love. And what I struggled with when I was a business owner doing my mommy and me classes is I would sit down and figure out, okay, how many classes do I need to teach per day, per week, per month, whatever, to make this certain amount of income. Yep. And it was capped. There's only 24 hours a day and kids don't want to take my music classes at 11 p.m. Or maybe some would. <laughs> but, uh, but once I realized that, so then I said, okay, well, I just need to hire more people. So then if I get more people working under me, then I can increase my income. But again, that was capped. And I just kept seeing that no matter what I was doing, no matter how I was putting my business together or how many kids I would have in my preschool or whatever, there was always a cap. And once I hit that cap each semester, each month, it, it was, you know, I was like, well, that's, that's great, but it's, it's not enough. And I was still pouring so much sweat, blood, sweat, tears into this business. I worked so many hours, loved teaching it. I, I still teach, but not to, not, not to that same, like, nose to the grindstone where I'm, where the joy of teaching is getting a little bit sucked away from the, the stress of not earning what I felt like I could or should be earning. And so when I was opened up to network marketing, I mean, really, we're talking, I mean, this was really in April, but in May was kind of the big aha. Like, I was like, yes, I get it. So, so let's the just, let's just, so, let's pause right there. So, just, so it's really been only a few months. Of, so of it's, learning. it's trading time for dollars. It's trading time for dollars. Yeah. That's number one. But two, yeah. I want you guys to hear what she just said. She's only been doing this for two months and realized in eight weeks she had to do more than what everyone else was doing. So most people that I end up working with, they've been in the industry for years. You know, they've, uh -huh. they've gone through the trials and tribulations of going through their warm market. You saw that within uh -huh. weeks that you knew yeah. you needed other things. So, so the second yeah. question, what was it that you heard me say in, in the training that I did a few weeks ago where you're like, you know what, I need to reach out to him. I need to learn LinkedIn. Um, I think uh, for you, I think what you had talked about was just the quality. You could say it, the quality of the person. Right you could say it. The quality of, of, of who I was reaching out to. So, uh, you know, if I have any of my Facebook friends or people that are, you know, already with me who have joined, I love you and I'm so happy for your success so far and so glad that we're connected. Um, but, there, but there's a different need and desire and dream from my Facebook friends, my personal Facebook friends, compared to somebody that I'm meeting in on, on LinkedIn. And, and their dream and desire and my reason for connecting with them is, is a much different approach and a different reason. You know, I'm talking to my friends because I'm wanting to help them personally get to the same point I am, um, you know, the way I feel physically, mentally, and emotionally. And that's what I'm helping and coaching my friends with. Um, but a friend on LinkedIn is talking to me because they are also experiencing the same business experience that I've experienced. They work for themselves. They work, they trade time for money and they're looking for another way. And I'm able to talk to them and say, I have another solution. Oh, by the way, you might also feel good, you know, and, and possibly lose weight. And feel Love good that. The way. But I'm, but let's see if I can help you just add a little more vacation time to your year or, at, or, or pay for a car payment. Or more. I mean, or more. I mean, that's already happening for our family. So, so more than a car. Family. So it sounds like. So if we kind of break that down, you were sawing the. You saw right away that there are two types of people that come into your business. Mm -hmm. There are the the product users that are just happy, mm -hmm. feeling better, and that's it. There, there's no driver need because you and I spoke about this. That you know the average mm -hmm. income of someone on Facebook is about thirty thousand dollars a year, but they're not really on here to build a business. They're here to be social, to connect, to show their life, their pets, right. their food, their family, everything else. And then you also mm -hmm. saw the need for the other side of network marketing, which is building your team because everyone is, right. everyone is so used to pulling down that, that slot machine 
seeing the three cherries pop up that, that spit out the product introductory bonus and say, hey, I'm making money in network marketing. But that next week, if you don't enroll anybody, you're not earning because you haven't built the residual income side, which mm -hmm. doesn't come just from product users. Because remember, product right. users order every 30 days. So you're not getting that next volume from that person for 30 days. Okay. But when you have a business builder, they're looking to bring volume not only into your business, but to their business mm -hmm. every single day. So those cherries are hitting every day instead of just once a month. Does that make sense? Right. I just sat down with my husband last night and we figured out what, where I wanted to be in a year and two years and whatnot. And how many people does that mean? And kind of the magic number that we just came up with for me is 2,700 people underneath me. I, I don't know if I ha if I can find 2,700 people you personally. Can. Too. <laughs> so I was like, but if I have five other friends helping me and we're all, you know, finding 100 people each or whatever, you know, each month, that's, that's going to catapult me there faster. I can get 2,700 if I go at this, you know, it might take me a longer time, but I'm really hoping to do this in, in a year or two. So good. So I'm, I need my business building team. So big, big, big question is this. So, you know, mm -hmm. we, we, we just finished our three sessions over 21 days. Yeah. We just did our 21 day training. Right. From obviously you got started even before our first session with the, the training videos that yeah. I sent you. So mm -hmm. just to explain to the audience how quickly this actually does happen just from my step-by-step -step training videos. Right. We're, we're going to get to the enrollment side after as far as getting traction, uh, building mm -hmm. your network and having people mm -hmm. willing to get on the phone with you, paint a realistic picture of mm -hmm. how long it took you to implement my strategy to you getting results. How long did that actually take? Um, I, I mean, you, I think you sent me the first videos on June 14th or 15th and today's July 4th. Um, but I mean, instantly. I mean, the very first video, I mean, I think I was listening to the video on my phone and I was on LinkedIn on my computer and was like, I can do this right now, right now. And so when I first, when Scott came on our team training video, I had um, 109 LinkedIn contacts from, you know, from the past 10 years of my life. Today, I have 1,083. So you've added so almost 1,000 contacts in I mean, it's going to be more. I mean, right? This is just, yeah. so, there's still people waiting to accept. So, wow. Every day, my phone is just bing, 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 you know, notification new people. But, um, and it's not a thousand like random friends. These are targeted, these are people that I have something to connect with. Mm. Some, there is something meaningful. There's a reason for me to talk to them, whether it turns into a, a business relationship through network marketing or not, these are people that just, it makes sense that I'm connected with them um, across the US and some in the UK already. Um, so instantly, I mean, so that's where I am with that. And then I listened to the, I paid attention to the next video and Scott said, here's a way that you can reach out. So I said, okay. So I just started doing it, just ping, ding, ding, reaching out. And the response was huge. Um, I, I mean, I have a notebook full and I'm, I'm almost unable to keep up with you know, with the response, I mean, because of today. It's like That's called more <laughs> leads than time, right. which is actually right. the dream of every network marketer because you and I spoke right. before and I said, mm -hmm. on average, how many calls per week were you having? And you were saying right. between zero and five calls per week. Yeah. So yeah. Yeah. let's take that. Now implementing my strategy of LinkedIn, how many right. calls per week are you having now? I mean, I could, I could have more if I had more hours, if I can put it that way. Average. I mean, um, I, I mean I'm probably doing it's 10, 10 to 20 a day. Like there's a day that I have wow. a big cup hour. So I want but, you guys um, to, so she 10 times, not a right. hundred times. I mean, if she average is, you know, between 10 and 20 is about 15 10, calls 10. a day. If she's doing that, maybe three, four days a week, that's anywhere between 40 to 60 calls. And just to let you guys know that are watching this, that are intrigued by this, this is normal. This is how LinkedIn works. And it's And I don't even have enough hours to put in all the calls because I have a baby at home. So if I had, you know, some of you might have from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. to just put to it. Gosh, I, I would dream, I dream to have that opportunity 
because I'd be able to power through. But I have, you know, two others that I take to camp, pick up from camp. So these are in small pockets of my day, and I just make my calls. So what I did for the first five was I timed them, thought that they should be about 10 minutes, and I started to figure out, like, where mine were. They're about 12 minutes because I have maybe a little more chit-chat in the beginning. But 12 minutes. So that means that every 15 minutes I can schedule a call. So you just kind of add that up, and I've figured out where I can add in these calls. I take them after hours. and So if you've got more time, you're going to get more calls. And, you know, depending on who you listen to and who you've trained from with network marketing, uh, people talk about the numbers. And I remember leaving a conference and saying, how can I get these kinds of numbers? How can I reach out? I'm not out all day long. My baby has to nap, so that mm. means I'm forced to be at home. So awesome. I have to reach out on the phone. I don't get to be at the grocery store, you know, for two hours or at the mall or running around on a beach or something. That's just not my life yet. So my yet. Health marketing I love that. Be, right. But, my, but today, while my baby is still at home with me until she's older, I have to figure out a way to reach out to people through the Internet and phone. That's, and once I realized that, once I sat down and had an honest conversation with myself about how this was going to happen, I figured I need to figure out a way to reach out to more people besides my, you know, lovely Facebook community. Those are my friends. Those are my nearest and dearest. And, and then that's it. That was, I was stuck. I was that, like, well, not talk to all thousand of them. And, and, <laughs> so and, that's, and, the, and that's the big key because I, I said to you, you know, you can have 5,000 friends on Facebook, but you can have 30,000 friends on LinkedIn, you know, with, with a different – a whole different network, a whole different community of people that, that you're building relationships with. And again, just so you guys know, Zyla owns a business. She's a wife. She's a mother of three kids. She has a baby at home. And the biggest thing that I took away from what she just said is that there are people that do have time to roam around the streets <laughs> and the supermarket right. and the mall. Zyla doesn't. Zyla came to me because she needed right. efficiency and immediate effectiveness. Now, Zyla and I just finished. So, Zyla, how many days – Not so you started getting calls right away. How many days mm -hmm. did it take you to actually get your first enrollment from what I taught you to see a return on your investment? Um, well, let's see. She already uh, – seven days? Seven days. So here's – and that is – And I probably have one. I have like one or two that are probably about to enroll. Like we're having great conversations. So um, – A week. Yeah. A week. So, yeah. so, so, so uh, I just, I, for people that are on here watching that, you know, mm -hmm. don't know how to use LinkedIn or haven't implemented LinkedIn within a week, your entire business can change yeah. because that person that Zyla enrolled could be the diamond in the rough that she mm -hmm. would have never, ever been able to connect with if it wasn't for what she's doing on LinkedIn. And here's the bigger thing. So last week I interviewed Kelly Calabrese, who's a multiple six figure earner who came to me five years in because she wanted to learn more. So you have that kind of person. And then you have, then you have Zyla <laughs> who is only two months in and already wants more. She doesn't want to wait to hit that wall where the warm market starts to dry up. She wants to create more leads than time now. So Zyla, my final question, mm -hmm. obviously you've gotten phenomenal results. It's still going. Mm -hmm. For anyone that is sitting on the fence mm -hmm. about thinking about not just working with me, but implementing something like LinkedIn because you know all they hear is people talking about you know Instagram and Facebook. What is the biggest takeaway that you were impacted by what I taught you and now what you are implementing into your business? Um, I, I mean, I think I, I maybe already said it, but just that I'm reaching a different type of, of, uh, of person for my business. I'm, you know, through Instagram, through Facebook, those are the, those are my friends so far that are, that are needing the product experience. The, the LinkedIn people are also going to get a product experience, but are, are with me for the business. And that means that I have the potential that, that I don't have to have an awkward discussion in the beginning of, well, maybe you might want to do this for the business. It's already like, that's the first thing we've talked about. I, I have a business. Would you like to join me? Yes. Okay, here we go. Um, that's a much faster way to get where I'm trying to go. And still, you know, I still feel like, you know, I'm doing everything with integrity and still sharing the product and the joy of everything that I'm experiencing. And 
Scott, I just want to say, you know, I've had a few people reach out to me and could you have learned what you're learning, what you've done with Scott? Could you have done that on your own? Maybe. Maybe if I had plenty of hours and plenty of time to kind of fiddle around, research a little bit how people decide to do things on, on LinkedIn. Maybe if I'd taken some, but I don't have that kind of time or hours to invest in, in something where there's already an expert there. Scott already knows and you're gonna get it bam, 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 bam. So don't waste your time. Don't spend the next six months trying to research the best practices on LinkedIn and what should you write, what should you put, what kind of email should you put them, what's the conversation gonna look like. Scott's got it all there for you. Awesome. And I didn't have to think at all. Day one, I was off and running. Day two, I could have a phone call. Day three, I could enroll people. I mean, it was, I didn't have to think. I literally copied and pasted from Scott's voice what he put, I put my own words to it, but I didn't have to sit and think like, is that, does that make sense? It's done, it's done for you. And so that's why I, it's seven days of LinkedIn. If somebody's at home just kind of playing around on LinkedIn themselves and saying, oh yeah, I'd love to use that platform, but they're doing it just kind of figuring out on the fly, they're probably not going to see those same kinds of returns. Yeah. Because, I mean, you're, everybody out there is smart and can figure things out, but it's like with everything. When I started network marketing, I didn't just listen to one person and just try to figure it out. No, I'm reading books on it. I'm watching videos. I'm going to trainings. That's what this is, too. This is just another one of those. And if you decide that LinkedIn is the one for you, invest in yourself. Invest in the training. All I need to do is enroll two more people, or less, actually, probably one more person. And I've just made a return on investment for what I put into myself with LinkedIn. That's amazing. Done. It's, it's like a no brainer success, so. success leaves clues. So, you know, instead yeah. of wasting time, like I, I, I use this example, you go to a restaurant and you're tasting the food and you're trying to figure out what the exact ingredients are. So you go home and you try yeah. to make it and it comes out completely wrong. Instead, you can just knock on the door of the chef and say, Hey, listen, would you mind sharing the recipe with me? How much would it cost me to learn how to make that? Right now. Exactly. Last thing before we go, exactly. so you can go enjoy your holiday. How, where, how do you feel personally, posture wise, and and uh, confidence wise, in now being a professional network marketer on the platform of LinkedIn? For me, this is like the dream. I said it to you on one of our phone calls. This to me feels naturally. This makes sense. I have a background in business. I feel like this is something I understand. I, I understand you know, how to reach out to somebody from a business perspective. Mm. And it feels like I'm making the most of my time. I'm not sitting here waiting for someone to maybe reach out to me on Facebook and say, great, tell me more. And then we go through a series of conversations. This is me getting to make proactive steps into changing my family's financial future. And that feels good. That feels like... I don't feel bad every night when I go to bed. I know that each day I've done the do. And this, to me, is doing the do. I'm getting to make my decisions. I get to reach out to people every day. I get to make phone calls every day. I, you know, it's, that is just a much different outlook. I can see an actual future now that I couldn't see before on Facebook. Nothing wrong with Facebook. No. Just now I see a really a, a much different, much clearer and a more definitive path. And so, so when I say something like, I just need 2,700 people by 2020, it's, yeah. I, that it's going to happen. That doesn't, scare, that doesn't scare my head. But if, you, but if I had said that before I met you, Scott, I would have been like, well, I don't know how I'm going to do that. Well, now you have a key. So, so now I do. <laughs> so again, for those that are just jumping on or watching the replay, um, you're listening to Zyla Masika, who is within the first week of working with me, had an average of 20 to 40 calls in her first week, got her first enrollment within seven days with more on the way. And, um, and th this, is, this is a game changer. So I'm gonna let you go. I know you have some Thanks. family stuff planned as I do, but I just wanna say number one, how grateful I am for you and the opportunity to work with you. And um, you know, just thank you for what you're doing. And I already see you're, you are a leader in action, even though that you're only a few weeks in, I can already see the posture change in you and the confidence that you have that you know now that you have the tools in your tool belt to continue to be a successful network marketer. Um, so, so much love and gratitude to you. Enjoy this holiday and um, I will see you soon. And thank you so much for joining me. Thanks.
Thank you. Thanks, everybody. And thank you, Scott, for everything. Bye, Zyla. Bye.